Hello all. Uh, today I am here to tell you a small topic about time value of money and capital budgeting. So this is a important topic especially when it is related to the long term investments. So in these long term investments whatever I am going to tell you about this one is a traditional method which is computed to find out is it good to go for that particular project or not because in the long term investments usually once the decision is been taken it cannot be reverted back so the organizations will be very careful while making such decisions and uh, usually these kind of techniques are um, applied and make sure that whatever the decision they have taken is not going to fetch them with the losses at least they are going to have a profits with a minimal or the profits which they are expecting so this is one kind of such technique which is traditional technique and we call it as a payback period payback period so the word itself is very simple here we are concerned about the period so if my investment actually i am making an investment the question i am just going to tell you about a question first so here the whatever the investment i am talking it is a total investment i am going to make it is somewhere 4 lakhs 40,000 so this for a particular project whatever i am thinking it requires an investment of 4 lakhs 40,000 and it is expected that I'm going to get every year a constant amount of profit that is 52,000 so here in this particular language we call it as a inflow instead of calling as a profit we call it as a inflows so why it is like that I'm going to tell you later on so here the profit is going to have in a traditional method the profit presumption is something else and if it is when I am going to go for using a modern techniques the profit presumption is going to change so that is a reason we simply call it as a inflow and so here it is the thing is that inflow every year it is going to be some 52,000 so what is the period 30 years now I am interested to know about the payback period so what is this payback period is among this 30 years within how many years my 4 lakhs 42 40 thousand will be back to me so usually everyone wants to know the same thing like if I am investing 4 lakhs 40 thousand out of this total 30 how in how many years I'm going to get back my investment so that the balance of years whatever is that that will be my profit so how we are going to find out so this is a traditional method and a very simple method too so how it is going to be so here we have a very simple formula that is initial investment divided by annual cash inflow that's it so how much is my initial investment 4 lakhs 40,000 and what is my annual every year how much I'm getting expecting that it is going to fetch me some 52,000 so when I'm going to calculate it it is going to be 4 lakhs 40,000 divided by 52,000 so how much I got the answer 8.46 so how I'm going to read it that is 8 years 4 months so now this is something is going to be very good for my project because out of total 30 years my investment will be back in 8 years itself so that means a balance of 30 uh, sorry 21 years if I am taking excluding this one 4 also balance of 21 years is my profit which I'm going to enjoy so that means this profit this particular project is going to benefit or it is going to fetch me a good amount of profits so this is one method 
Now next one I will tell you if the same thing is if now I have told you that if the annual investment or inflow is constant now let us assume that it's not compulsion that always we are going to have a constant profits right so what I'm going to do is now next sum wherein I have an investment of 8 lakhs my first investment and I have a inflows uh, for the it's not a constant so I have a in cash inflows for the five years so how much is my cash inflow is for the first year it is 1 lakh 60 1 lakh 80 for the second 2 lakhs 20 thousand 2 lakhs 25 thousand and 2 lakhs 70 thousand so these are my inflows now in this case how I'm going to find out my payback period so here also my question is about payback period only so how I'm going to find out now one of the simplest and easiest method is we are going to find out cumulative cash inflows so cumulative means just nothing but in this first year my amount will be same 1 lakh 60 but whereas in the second year I am combining cumulative I'm combining so with my the second cash inflow I'm going to add this one so 1 lakh 60 plus 1 lakh 80 it will be 3 lakhs 40 thousand again 3 lakhs 40 plus 2 lakhs 20 so it will be 5 lakhs 60 next 5 lakhs 60 plus uh, 2 lakhs 50 it will be 8 lakhs 10,000 8 lakh 10 plus 2 lakh 70 it will be 10 lakhs 80,000 now this is my total whatever the cash inflows are there and their cumulative inflows I have found out now how I'm going to find out so for this one here we have a, again a formula so in the previous methods the simplest formula was initial investment by cash inflows that's it but when it comes to the payback period in this format when there are irregularities in the profits then my formula is going to change a little bit that is payback period is equal to the least year plus investment minus cumulative cash inflow of least year divided by cash inflow I'm not writing cumulative observe cash inflow of preceding year so this will be the formula least year plus investment minus cumulative cash inflow of least year divided by cash inflow of preceding year now please we are going to apply it so how I'm going to find out which is the least year and which is a preceding year now I'm going to see for this one investment so what is my total investment it's a like so in this my cumulative uh, free year cash inflows I'm going to search for where is my 8 lakhs lying so just observe my 8 lakhs is lying between these two things so here I'm going to block this total I'll make a box now you can tell me which is the least and which is the preceding so least obviously will be this one and preceding will be this <coughs> so least I'm taking here so what is the least here 3 less now what did i said investment minus investments how much is the investment 8 lakhs so 8 lakhs minus what did i said cumulative cash inflow of the least year so least year cumulative cash inflow is how much 5 lakhs 60 thousand divided by what did i said cash inflow of preceding i'm not talking about cumulative i said preceding cash inflow so how much is the preceding cash inflow 2 lakhs 
50,000. Now simply you are going to substitute in this one. So answer will be 3 plus you are going to get 2 lakhs 40,000 divided by 2 lakhs 50,000. So when I am going to solve it, it will be 3 plus 0 0.96 that is 3.96 so how I'm going to read it my investment will be back in three years nine months so my life is actually five years so I'm going to get somewhere in three years nine months at sims so I need to think about it because it's almost three years nine months means it's not even exactly three it is somewhere going around five fourth year so i am going to enjoy full fledged means only one year so the company may think over on this project or it may go for this particular project so this is about a payback period